I guess I could say this is me breaking the ice. I've had my YouTube channel for a couple of weeks now and I've spent the past evening making and editing videos but they were all about things about me, things I appreciate, weird things about me, my favorite things and then I was like this doesn't really feel right because I don't think people are going to watch something when it's all about me because of right now when nobody really knows me nobody really cares about me and I'm cool like I understand that I went to the grocery store and the clerk or the clerk I don't know uh, the cashier person <laughs> he recognized me and he was like oh you're buying chocolate you're a dancer though right and I started to laugh because when I tell people I'm a dancer like they'll just like be like whoa and then you can like see the facial expression of like a hundred different questions going through their heads. So that's when I got this bright idea. Well, I don't know if it's bright, but this idea to make my YouTube channel revolving around as a dancer, an athlete, and an actress, singer, a model, things I want to be. So this is the start of it. I will be doing Q&A videos, I will be doing workout videos, talking about nutrition, um, videos of me actually dancing. I'm considering it making vlogging videos. So of my life now and journey on the way to my goals. And I, those will probably be more about the emotional aspect of it. But regardless, my channel will have all of those things to it. So for this video, I have questions that I'm constantly asked as a starting point and then if anyone has any more questions just write it in the comments below or if you have video ideas like oh I want to know more of what you eat as a dancer or what a daily training schedule looks like and things like that and I will make more videos based on that. Why did I choose dancing as a career? I should have a better answer considering I'm always asked this, but the only answer I can ever come up with is it's who I am. It's what I love to do. There's nothing else on this planet that I would rather do than just dance. And I am so incredibly passionate about dance that I've decided to make it my future, my career. I go to college for dance, uh, it's dance, acting, and singing right now, and so I study hip-hop, ballet, jazz, a little bit of modern, uh, musical theater, and of course vocals, acting. However, the more versatile dancer or artist is, the better they will become technically. As any dancer or choreographer or instructor would say, ballet is the base of everything, but having all the different types of dance can only help you. Um, my favorite is musical theater. Um, jazz can be a lot of fun too, or like contemporary, and I really like hip hop. Now, I'm not the best at hip hop, most certainly. Um, it's actually probably not my weakest point, but I find it a lot of fun. It's just like pure cardio and it's great. Uh, but yeah, I love musical theater because it's singing, dancing, and acting all in one. And I find that a lot of fun, as well as I think my strength is acting. The answer is yes, I do get homework. It's just like any other college course, I do get academic homework with it because there is theory and knowledge and education to know beyond the dance floor. There's tons of things to be researched out there. That varies depending on the day. Um, my college course goes Monday to Friday and I dance anywhere from three or four hours to maybe eight hours a day. Um, my longest day is probably eight hours, my shortest day is like three, four hours. Um, but I'm also a very, uh, um, not athletic, what's the word I'm going for? Active. I'm also very active 
on top of that, I work out at a gym a lot, and um, that's because one of my goals is to be a fitness model, so I do spend a lot of time doing my own conditioning work, and um, I also love to jog, love to jog, so a lot of activity outside of the dance world, well, on top of that, I also dance on my own at home and on the weekends. Like, I, I think people just don't really understand the idea of being a dancer as a career, or all the they get all the stereotypical things behind it, um, which, yes, I could very well be a stripper, um, but that's not what I choose to do. I could be anywhere from, like, performing for a company or um, working in a live theater show, uh, teaching, choreographing, uh, being on film or television, um, acting, singing. Like, there's so much I could do. Like, it is a very wide, wide? It's a very open ended career field um it's very versatile there's a lot i could do within my career so i guess the next question after that would be what do i want to do um i find that it's changing a lot the more i get into it the more it changes but the more specific I get. I know I really want to be a model, specifically a fitness model, be a teacher one day, like I want to open up my own studio one day, but in the meantime I wouldn't mind just like teaching on my own, like at a studio. I kind of want to do a little bit of everything. Uh, I really, I'm really looking into acting because that seems to be my strength so far. Filming TV. Yes, for the most part. I think there are certain family members who su support me because they feel that they have to or they'll be like oh yes you could be a dancer we believe in you but then they go and talk trash about me behind my back so that's I don't know but I do definitely have family members that do support me 100% and are there to help encourage me or you know wipe away my tears when I need it so that's helpful and my friend they are huge support they're, they're always there to help encourage me, so that's great. Now, this question always throws me off. Is it hard? Um, yes, just like anything else can be. I mean, you are given something to work on because it's hard, but then you work on it and it gets easier. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to answer this question. Is going to school and becoming a teacher or a biologist or a mathematician or an, I don't know, a nurse. Are those things easy or hard? Um, I guess you could say it's physically hard to be a dancer or a physical challenge. It's definitely, definitely an emotional challenge. It's very emotionally difficult. I guess no different, maybe a little bit harder than other careers out there. Like, so I guess the answer is a yes. Yes, absolutely. There's a lot of pressure. Um, I can't tell you necessarily where that pressure comes from. Everyone reacts to it differently. Some people handle it a lot better. Some people hands it, don't handle it at all. I happen to think that I'm a very strong-souled person, and I can take a lot of pressure, but then it builds up on me, and I eventually end up cracking, I guess you could say, or having a meltdown. And I guess you could say that the pressure comes from you have to be a certain way to be successful. You have to be the best or have the attitude, have to have exactly what they're looking for to be chosen. So I guess that's where the pressure comes from. Yes, I wouldn't say it's as dramatic as the stereotypes put out there. Like, what's that movie? The Black Swan, I think it's called. That is a very dramatic version of what it's like, at least in my world, of 
course, other dancers could be totally different. Um, dance moms, again, a lot of that stuff is true, but that's more... I don't handle jealousy well. I get, unless I'm the best or perfect at everything, I get really jealous of people. So I guess you could see I don't handle the competition very well. Anyway, there you have it. The top questions I am constantly, or I would say frequently asked as a dancer and athlete. Uh, so feel free to comment below, uh, subscribe if you want, like the video if you want, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, so this channel is called Naturally Natalie. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have a specific schedule, maybe once a week, like every Saturday seems to be working. Definitely not during the week. I have no time because I'm dancing every day during the week. But um, I'll go from here. And I know this video seemed a lot more serious. I tend to be more free-spirited or very energetic and really outgoing. Thanks for watching. Who are my spoke? Who?